No, please. I have a topic. I don't like to change topic. Tell me how you experience the sperm coming from your ribs, the location of the necklace. How that happened to you? Your mind. It was just something that happened that I experienced it. I mean, I, I, I went through a lot of things. I mean, I experienced it. And um, I went through other stuff before I became Muslim. So, are you saying, like, when you get excited, there's a white liquid coming from your chest, your mind? Definitely. Do you have a proof of that? It happened a few uh, years ago to me. Oh, so Muslims, they have orgasm once every few years. But the Quran is saying that that sperm is what make the women get a pregnant. So this is mean women, Muslim women, they should not get a pregnant every year. You might. Um, I know we're on the subject with the Muslim with the Muslim women uh, sperm. Um, uh, silver one two three. Yes, Haitian women do have sperm. I wish you could ask me that question. I have a link. Just wait, just wait. We are focusing now on the sperm of your sister, the Muslima. Uh, Ayiti, uh, when, when you have, you know, for sure we are speaking about science in here, there's nothing personal, right? You said you experienced sperm, sperm coming from your chest. Uh, the Quran says it's a gushing fluid. Gushing fluid. And you know what does that mean, right? Gushing fluid means strong fluid, like Is that the way how it is coming from your... Uh, do you have holes in your chest? How how the sperm is coming from your chest? I don't understand. You might. I don't have holes in my chest, but it, it, it comes from it comes from my chest through other parts, which I will not uh, say on here. Come from your chest to other parts. Where do those parts exist? Parts, not one part. You said parts. So your sperm go in many parts, you might? I, I meant one part, sorry about that, but I will not say it because it's not appropriate for me as a Muslim woman to say that. Oh, it's appropriate for a Muslim woman to say she experienced sperm coming from her chest, but now it's not appropriate to say where the sperm come from or come, come out. That is amazing. Uh, uh, but uh, anyway, I understand what you are saying. Uh, uh, let me, I will say it to you, I will help you. It's the, your vagina, right? You are saying the vagina. So you are saying the sperm go all the way from your chest down, from the location of the necklace, all the way to your vagina. And this is supposedly what you agree with, correct? Definitely. Um, uh, Christian Prince, um, super rock star, uh, what is this about Haitian worm? No, there is no such thing. And I wish you not ask that question. So, let us say a woman, uh, she have a broken ribs. Do you think she will not have kids no more? Because her sperm is coming from her ribs? Well, I, I don't know about other Muslim women, but I know myself. Um, I am not able to have kids because I wasn't able to have any when I was married to my, which is now my ex-husband. Maybe uh, because your sperm is coming from the wrong location, this is why you could not have babies. Uh, I, I don't know, but this is still not, uh, not uh, giving me the answer. You know, if a Muslim woman, according to you, have orgasm once every few years, right? So, uh, uh, and the Quran saying that that what will cause the baby to, uh, you know, the woman to be pregnant. That what come from the man, what come from the women, which is the gushing fluid. And you are saying to me, this gushing fluid come only once every few years. So how do you expect yourself to have babies anyway? Uh, this is really a problem. But now, uh, 
as long as you agree that uh, the sperm come from the location of the necklace, and you said you experienced that, I want you please to explain to people in the anatomy how you felt, like how you know that the sperm is really coming from your ribs. As an example, do you feel something in your chest when you are excited? The sperm is moving, something happening? How do you know? Your mind. Um, yeah, definitely. I do. I'm going to be honest. Yes, I do feel excited. I, I feel something in my chest when I get excited very much. It always happened. Like I said before, it happened to me before I became Muslim. Um, so guys, uh, she, this Muslima, she, when she got excited, she feels something moving in her chest. She's so excited. And that must be the sperm. Why you, why you think it's a sperm? Why you, maybe it's uh, just because you're excited, you know? Uh, how you know it's the sperm, you mind? Uh, on the question, uh, Super Rockstar, uh, come to the mic if you want to say any, ask anything about Haitian. Um, I would appreciate... Guys, Edmund, please, uh, dot, dot this man, Superstar, whoever he is, dot him. Uh, wait, listen, lady. How you know, how you know that that what is making you excited in your chest is 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 the sperm? How you know? Your mind. Friends, uh, no, I want Super Rockstar to come to the mic and say what he's saying. No, I don't care about him. Uh, admin, please bounce him. Just bounce him, bounce him. Here we go. He's up. I want you to answer, please. How you know that the sperm is coming really from your chest and this is what is making you excited? You said you feel excited, you feel something in your chest. How you know this is a sperm, your mind? Because, like I said, um, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm explaining it to you. You don't get it or something? Um, it, it's a very much, it's an, ex it's, it's, it, I would say, I wouldn't say it's an exciting thing. It, 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 it's a, uh, it's just a thing that happens to Muslim women. I mean, it's like I said, it's something from Allah wa tuwaliyakul Allah. Oh, this is happen only for Muslim women. When they get excited, they see feel something in their chest. Uh, can you describe to us what do you feel exactly, please? Your mind. We feel. We feel excited, we'd say. We, we, have, we have a little excitement, and, and, and we have a little excitement, a little justification, and, and that's how it is. That's how it is for us. Excitement, justification, still I did not get. Can you explain more? Can you give us more details? Because, as you see, you said only Muslim women have that. So the other women in here, they will not understand you. So can you explain more, your mind? I'm assuming Christian and Jew women have it. I mean, are there any Christian and Jew women in here, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, I know I'm a woman in here. Um, I'm assuming Christian and Jew women have it, too. I don't I don't know too much about do they have it. I know Muslim women because I'm Muslim. Okay, that's so why I'm asking you. Well, no, they don't have those things. There is no Christian woman believe that uh, there's sperm moving in her chest. And, you know, come on. We just told you that. So now how you know? Or let us say, how you know, you if it describe the thing is a chest, I'm coughing. It's a chest. So how do you know that this is a speak in your chest? Sometimes when we have to, it's yes. There's a lot that happens uh, for reasons too. The sexual reason happens with. So when you move, cough, move in your chest, you are alone there, sperm? Yes, it does. There's a bell of. No, we don't see this bell on your mind. Um, because for one, you're in and you wouldn't know that. And that that would answer the question. Assume answer the question. You're not a you're not a woman. As a man, who says my sperm is coming from the body. I know myself as a man. You know, and science that uh, you know sperm is the backbone. So I will I will stay with you about about this. But you know, science too, and the books of science doesn't say that women they have balls in their in testicles, their chest. Do did you ever science saying that Muslim women women they have breast testicles? Um, yeah, a few books, yes, that have, yes. You, you've seen a few books on statistics? You, you've seen? Yes, I have. I, I have seen it, yes. Do you remember the name of the book? Admit, no, I remember the name of the book. 
Do you remember the, the book have a picture of those press testicles? Do you know how they look like? Am I? Yeah, I do. Yes. To ask them how they look Yes, you want me to really... Why not? It's yes. nothing about that, you know? You said in the picture, it's mean we're looking at, 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 at testicles too. We're looking at the picture and you said, so describe for us how those women testicles, which is located in the upper side of your chest, your mind. Um, I'm serious, but I prefer not to describe it that way, uh, or period at all, to be honest. But you are a woman, and then wrong with that. Like nothing like this, right? You are a woman, and you have testicles, and your testicles in the upper side of your chest. How they look like? Come on. Disrespect. There's uh, certain things in the Muslim faith that women uh, do not, are not, uh, sh uh, should not uh, subscribe to kafirs of, of some sorts of reasons. Oh, so you can tell Muslim about the size of your testicle, tell me? I don't understand you. A Sunni Muslim sister was, she could tell you, I'm a Shiite Muslim, and I do not, Shiites are different from certain things we will not uh, say. Well, are you saying that the size is different too, because you are Shia, she is Sunni? Do you have the same size as sister as Muslim women and uh, Shia women, or do they have two different own size? Um, Shiites have, have it, Shiites is, are smaller, Sunnis are bigger. Right, right, right. Yeah, but I see you are Shia, you are saying your your testicles is bigger, but still you can't have kids. I think the smaller is better, you know mind? Um, neither one. It's, it, it, it's, it's it, like I said, it's from Allah. It comes from Allah. Everything that happens comes from Allah. Right, right. So your testicles is bigger, but you said Shia testicles are bigger, Sunni testicles smaller. There's got so why Allah is making the women testicles for the Shia bigger than the Sunni testicles for women? You mind? Um, I have no idea, Christian Prince. Um, I don't know. You would have to ask Allah that. Okay, well, we will give our question to Allah regarding the size of the testicles. I will be back with you uh, after I hear this uh, uh, gentleman, uh, what his name, he want to talk. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, what her name? Haitian. Haitian. Right? Yeah, thank you for the information. It's uh, actually those information is like priceless ones uh, because we never heard those things before. And uh, uh, this is the first time actually I have a conversation with Muslims explaining to us how she has testicles, how you have a sperm, etc. This is a very, very unique conversation. And, uh, you know, I hope Muslims, they will learn uh, from this Muslim uh, that, yes, Quran says uh, that they have testicles, and this is true. It's proven by science, proven by Muslims, and always, always Muslims don't lie. They say the truth, you know. So I am assuming that she did not lie to us. It must be a true story. Uh, we go to Mr. Uh, Amman. 